inside a snowflake, like the one on your sleeve. There happened a story you must see to believe. Way up in the mountains, a high range of pontoons, lay a small town of Whoville, the home of the Who's. Arbor Day was fine, and Easter was pleasant. And every St. Christmas Day, they ate a fist pleasant. But every Who knew from their twelve toes to their snout, they loved Christmas the most, without a single Who doubt. Ask any Who, and they'll have this to say. There's no place like Whoville around Christmas Day. St. Nicholas soon would be there. Merry Christmas! Not yet! Okay! Alright everyone! Christmas Day is almost here! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! This tree is not up to our festive <laughs> standard! Where's Martha? Where's Martha? <gasps> Working through the night and all through the day was the decorating committee led by the lovely Martha May. Did so Call me. <sighs> Hit me with a hot note, too, Bill. Now that's holiday! Mr. Bill is singing on a jingle The bell is at a single All your troubles away Everybody's waiting for the man to come back Cause Christmas is coming again He's got a staple that's not a dumb staple He's got the stuff that's dropping out
Queens. We need more card cookers and more fufas. And don't forget to vote for me for Bluebill Decorator of the Year. That'll make it an even tip. <laughs> All right, who's hot who it? Yes, every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. What's that? I said every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. That's true. Woo! A bingo bells, a bingo bells, something, something, bingo bells. Grandpa, what? That is not your house. That is not my that house. That is not your house. Why did you paint it pink? I didn't. That is not but the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. Noise! 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 Curse that Christmas music! It's joyful and triumphant! The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on quite right. It could be perhaps that his shoes are too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Bah Hooberg! exclaimed the Grinch, staring out from his cave with a sour Grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings. The Grinch snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled with his green Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. But how? Uh... Oh, the presents, the presents, the presents. Oh, I mustn't forget the presents. Cindy Lou? Mom? Cindy Lou? been practicing your Christmas wrapping. I'm so proud of you. Oh, you two, we can't talk now. There is so much to do. I have to pick up the hook hash and the roast beef. Oh, remind me to pick up some extra hook pudding. Extra hook pudding. Oh, now what could I be forgetting? But what is Christmas really about? <gasps> the presents. Oh, that reminds me. We have to pick up a gift for your cousin. What about the Grinch? <gasps> of twinkling lights. Oh. Aren't they fab who? Oh, yes, Martha. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh. oh, what did I just hear your sweet child mention that mean? Oh, oh. sour. No. Oh. Yes! You keep saying. Well, who is he? Well, uh, you see, Cindy Lou, the Grinch isn't a who, he's more of a... A what? Exactly! You'll know more about such things when you grow into your nose. Oh, yeah. Come on, Patsy. <laughs> let's go. Oh. All right, everyone. It's one minute closer to Christmas! Merry Christmas! Not yet! Okay. Let's decorate.
What a great preachy trick with this coat and this hat. I'll look just like Saint Nick. <gasps> oh no, I'm speaking in rhyme fast! <laughs> As a cactus, you're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black Now that 
I can do. <laughs> Around the whole room, and he took every present. He took their St. Gables, tranglers, and puzzles. He took their pantooglers, dazzlers, and wuzzles. He cleaned out that ice box as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last can of hoo hash. That would be mine. Then he stuffed all the presents up the chimney with glee. Yeah. And now, Rain to the Grinch. I will stuff up the tree. So the Grinch grabbed a tree and he started to shove when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou Who. Though no, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. <laughs> Why, my <coughs> sweet little tot. The fake Santa Claus lied. You are not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Why, there's a light on this tree. <laughs> that old light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there and bring it back here. I'm running again. Santa Claus? What? Don't forget about the Grinch. The Grinch? I know he hates Christmas. He's green with bad breath and smelling feet with shoes that are two sizes too small, but just because he's different, that doesn't mean he shouldn't get a present on Christmas. Good night! <laughs> You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between the two of you, I would take the seasick crocodile. Passed on, all the who's still abed, all the who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags, and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. 3,000 feet up, up to the top of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. <laughs> to 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 the hills, he was graciously humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up and I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two. And then all the who's down in Whoville will all cry. Boo-hoo! <laughs> and that's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear, and he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, but then started to grow. But that sound wasn't sad, why, that sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very. Tall and the small were singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came somehow or other. It came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. 
Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought. Does it come from a store? Maybe Christmas, perhaps, needs a little bit more. What happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And now that his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. He still had their presents, their food for the feast, the ribbons, the tinsel, even the roast beast. With a smile in his soul, he descended Mount Crumpet, cheerfully blowing boo sounds on his trumpet. took all your Christmas presents, it's true. But because of this child's kindness, I bring them all back to you. I'm rhyming again! And I like it. Hmm? Your cheek is so... I know. Harry. No. Gracie, oily. Do I miss it? I want to miss it. No. It's warm. Merry Christmas, Cindy Lou. Merry Christmas, Mr. Grinch. Welcome, Christmas. Bring your cheer. Cheer to all who's far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp. As long as we have hands to clasp. Christmas Day will always be just as long as we have we. Welcome Christmas while we stand, heart to heart, hand to hand. <laughs> oh, good idea. Hey, Kate, come on, 